Shalom, brothers and sisters. I don't know how at this late stage of the game, and yeah, I do know how because it's planned and controlled and they're seeking America's destruction, but how after everything, I mean, they have Chinese cameras at military bases in the US and at government where the Chinese are spying. They have a ex-astronaut in America that's in your government that's part of a startup that does balloon surveillance and everything with majority Chinese funded interests. There's so many examples of how China has infiltrated all of these Western countries that you think by now, if you bought a Chinese lollipop, you would deconstruct it to look if there wasn't a listening device on the inside before you ate it. You'd think a person would be that awake, but still not. And you do get the whistleblowers and people screaming warnings, not that anyone listens to them. And this is just one more example of the latest warning that's been issued. Chinese made humanoid robots are raising alarm in Congress. Advanced Chinese made robots with eerily lifelike capabilities are poised to enter the global market and some U.S. lawmakers are demanding they be banned in the U.S. Jacob Halberg, a member of the influential U.S.-China Economic and Security Review Commission, said that as they become more advanced, the Chinese Communist Party or state-sponsored bad actors could use the robots currently marketed as harmless home assistance, <laughs> harmless home assistance, and super efficient assembly line workers to wreak havoc by spying, sabotaging critical infrastructure, or in nightmarish scenarios, physically harm Americans. They can strangle someone in their sleep, Halberg told the Post. They can punch a data center and inflict physical harm and destruction of property. The Chinese government has called for mass production of humanoid robots by 2025 and world-class performance by 2027 because they've got a small window in which to finalize this final week of chaos a time that will be worse than any other time in human history and it's specifically specifically sorry talking about the last half of the tribulation that time the last three and a half is going to be something you cannot even begin to imagine from a physical, psychological, spiritual, demonic, supernatural perspective. It is going to be chaos, like the worst time in human history, which is why you will always see them pushing numbers like 2030, 2025, 2027. It's all got to go down in the next week, prophetic week seven years okay in that week it's got to be done and wrapped up and these things out there keeping control keeping surveillance imagine that you don't have to do the dishes you don't have to cook you just get one of these humanoid robots inside your home they'll do everything for you they'll go to the store they'll go and get your groceries for you they will do it all you will be safe in a safe place you will be watched you will be surveilled you will be under their control it kind of works and especially when you look at the demonic influence in artificial intelligence and that taking over these humanoid robots in your homes and your workplaces and everywhere else yes i start to sound like someone who needs to make a new tinfoil hat but that is the time that is lying ahead of us and all the reality of what i'm saying is very easy to find if you just look we are at that final period and is right at the door now more than ever it is time for you to make sure you're focused on getting right with christ you're focused focused on growing closer to jesus on falling more in love with him day by day as you realize just how much he's doing for you that you don't even know about at all we cannot begin to fathom the depths of the love that he has for us. Shalom.